Hey guys, thank you for joining. If you are here to see how we're gonna make this dark haired girl with kind of brassy, warmer hair right now, more of an icy blonde, then you're in the right place. Make sure that you guys like and share and subscribe and we're gonna get started on her hair. I'm gonna tell you guys what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a very, very full, tight foil on her entire head. I'm gonna use 30 volume at her root and then at the ends, I may put a five or 10 volume depending on where I go and the timing that we have. I may even do that as the foils are processing. I may start to rinse them out early. So stay tuned, we got so much more to come. Every single day. So the two different bleaches that I'm going to use are the Black Charcoal, and this is by DeFabia. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but we'll go with it. Um, and then my always, my go-to is Wella, Blondor um, with the 89 Plus right here. And I don't have the Blondor bucket, but I'll get that later. I'm also going to use these Hot Pink Fun Framar Foils. I freaking love these things. So let's go. All right, guys, so one of my secrets to highlighting to create a nice icy blonde is I take very thin sections. That's really important for somebody that's this dark that you take thin sections because if you don't, it will be, it won't penetrate through and it won't get as bright. I typically do something that's in between a weave. That's a weave and a slice. What I do is I kind of like shake my comb a little bit. And I do a weed slice. I don't know, we can come up with something more fancy, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to over direct my hair, pull it back onto the foil. I have a nice tight grip, but I'm only using the foil against her head part. I'm taking the black charcoal bleach which, by the way, guys, it is very hard to tell when it is done processing. It's something that you will learn that timing on this is very important. You guys see I'm not even touching the foil? Not even touching it. Where it happens, and I'm teaching another hairstylist right here right now um, how to properly foil, is that if you touch it too much, it starts to slide and move around, okay? So we're going to barely touch. I'm not going to do the ends right now. I fold once. I fold twice right where this bottom foil meets the top and I give it a little pinch and I flip it over and I go to my next section. Ta-da! Now only a thousand more. Oh yeah, that's looking really nice. Taking thin sections and perfecting our fold. You only get better by repetition. There's no magic pill I can give anybody. But I always tell all my assistants and um, protégés that it is just repetition. We've got it. All right, guys, we're moving over to the sides. I have done the entire back. I did micro foils, very, very thin sections, and I did that all with the charcoal lightener. Now I've got my blonde door with 89 plus and I've got a little bit of like a 25 volume because her roots are pretty dark and I am making sure to weave out her already lighter pieces so they don't get processed, over processed and fall out, you know? We don't want that, obviously. So I'm um, just kind of feathering the ends a little bit and then I am doing my, my fold. But same thing as I've done over here, sometimes I do cut the edges a little bit um, just so I have more room because I'm going to do this crazy little area next. All right, guys, stay tuned. I will show you guys the top next. All right, guys, so I've finished most of her head of hair. I still have this um, top portion to do, but it is now time to check the charcoal foils. So 
Um, I will say one thing about this lighter is that it's really, really hard to see what it's processed and how light it is. So I'm going to take out one of these foils and I'm going to have a damp cloth with me just so we can see. Because it is, I mean, I'm telling y'all, it is hard to see. Okay, I'm going to put that foil right there. <laughs> Did you feel that? Oh, I feel that. <laughs> Do you feel it? Oh, it looks pretty light. Yeah, and ashy. Also ashy. <laughs> so dangerous. A little dangerous. Ashy on the end, for sure. But I still have a lot of the charcoal on there, so I'm going to just keep foiling because I think she's actually pretty okay to sit just a little bit longer on these oils. All right, guys, I have finished her entire foil. If you want to come around and check this out, she is completely foiled. She's got some hair in between, but I did a very tight micro foil on her. And we're going to rinse this out. And let's see that blonde. So, be back in a second. All right, guys. She is all done. We have highlighted her entire head of hair. And we toned her. And here she is. I'm going to have you just tilt your head just a little so everybody can see. Your beautiful color. And her hair is super healthy. And saw. Um, I do want to note that I used the blondeur on the top, but the charcoal did so much better. And I'm going to show you guys in the back. And I actually rinsed this out way before I rinsed out anything else because this is a 45 minute time limit on the charcoal and it lifted. So beautifully. I did have to wait a lot longer for the top and the sides to lift. So that is my opinion of the charcoal bleach. I think it's a, a winner for sure. And the hair feels even a little bit softer in the back. So, all right. Make sure you subscribe and like this video for more. Bye.